Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Sword of the Stars. This is your host, Wolfenray. Now, the last episode was a silent film because the war has pretty much taken a turn that is really beyond description. As you know from the last episode, it's just battle after battle after battle. And colonies get burned, ships get destroyed. And I even went so far, as you can see in one of the last battles, that I've developed a, a strain of plague that I deployed it upon the avians, the avian bird flu or whatever, right? Anyways, that has had a huge political impact on their morale to continue to fight me. However, my people are at a breaking point. As you can see by all the fists, my worlds are starting to rebel. The people no longer want war anymore. It's been war since the beginning of time that we met species and it continues to be war and our economy is grinding to pieces, our infrastructure is almost non-existent. We keep shooting bullets out of our guns and our, merrill, and our barrels are just worn out and we're just worn out uh, my empire's just worn out there's I, I gotta start doing other things besides peace so I'm trying to build peace with this with the with the species now we made peace with the with the uh, we made peace with the AI a long time ago and then we made peace with the eternal empire so now we need to try and make peace with the uh, with the avians. You know, as you can see by these fists, my people at this point are just eating turnips. As like in 1917, the sixth winter of 1617, and World War One, where the people ate turnips all winter long. That's kind of where my people are at right now. And nobody, we got no money. We got no money. I mean, we're making money, the government is, but look, our ships are down to 78. We were, a few episodes ago, we are at 101. So, we're just, the war of attrition is really grinding us down. And look at our, our, our average morale, is 63. You know, because we win, we lose, we win, we lose, we win, we lose. And when, when does it stop? When does it stop? It, it doesn't stop. That's the problem. So, I think and we're going to try and stop the war. Another combat, of course. At L789. Now, what's the condition of our fleet here? Basically, it's in rags. Okay. What's the condition of our fleet here? Oh, it's in it's in it's in good shape. So maybe we can. He's wanting to colonize here. See, so the contest between us and the sleepless is we want to colonize is is at Tal Keti. We've been fighting over that area that that battleground for a long time. It's kind of like it's kind of like our Verdun, man. We just just soldiers get thrown into it and ground to pieces. That's all it is. Hi, sir. Coming to new bearing. So, oh, 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 we better, we better toe the line. Wrench, sir. Let's see if we can't. Okay, this is like the first. Holy God! See, this is this is like our first Mark II. Holy shit! Excuse my language. I don't usually curse in that in that form, but I think they just kind of blew me up. Uh, okay. 
We can't take any more of that. You hurt the man. Get the ship moving. Maybe. Hmm. Tactical situation's not looking really good here. I guess we're doing okay. Oh, we're going to lose our engine, so we got to go to neutral. Come on now. Come on now. We got to get around behind that planet. Otherwise, they're just going to they're going to tear us apart. And we don't have the beams. Okay, shields are back up. Hopefully we delayed the uh, bombardment long enough to where they don't, you know, destroy the plant. Oh, there, there it is. There it is. Oh, no. That's it. That's it. Once these fireballs hit our ship, the Athabasca is dead. Yeah. As you can see. The war needs to end. It really does. We, we're, we're, we're done. We, we have nothing left to fight. The people have lost the will to fight. I mean... They got fireballs, and those fireballs tearing us apart with the missiles. And then point defense, we're, we're pretty much laid bare. So now... Our colony needs to withstand two minutes of this horrendous bombardment. Now, fortunately, those fireballs don't hurt too bad impacting on the colonies. But those missiles hurt pretty good. I don't know what to say about this kind of, this level of carnage. Our defense was pathetic. That's all I gotta say. Clearly, a diplomatic solution is in order. Or, I mean, at least if we can confine it to one front, we could then put our fleets to focus here. That's what I'm hoping. Because I don't think we have enough... Uh, diplomacy to end the war with the sleepless if we wanted to but at least if we can focus on the sleepless we might be able to defend ourselves and force the sleepless to uh, end their war with us or at least make some territorial gains or, or something something has got to happen So those fireballs still impact the planet. Here's something I always wanted to try. Oh. We'll see we'll see the bombardment from the from the nuclear from the surface view. So you can see their pound their their bullets. Their fireballs. Just huge explosions that go clean up out of the atmosphere. Oh my god, that's sad. Well, at least our colony survived. I guess that's good. Now, if we do a little better here, I think we will because we actually have an advantage. Now, in that last uh, encounter, drive to four. that was really bad. Oh, where's it going? Where's it going? He wants to circle around the back of the star? Is that what he's trying to do? I think we ought to try to cut off his retreat is what we need to do. Hmm. You hurt the man. Get the ship moving. Now we have an asteroid field. Hi, sir. Bringing guns to bear. But I'm thinking that if we just uh 
We should just probably close into attack. We'll just pers we'll just pursue them, and uh, we'll just go in 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 force. I'm thinking that's the probably the best best solution. And now this ship here is the Volga. This is the famous fleet. And I think Lynn Farragut's fleet. You know, I'd, we got to see if she died. She probably did, maybe. That was a tough situation. But I think the situation's not so tough here at Tau Ketty. They didn't expect us to be here, you know. Otherwise, they would have sent their combat fleet over here to protect their, uh, their, their construction efforts. Yeah, we're, tear we're tearing this guy apart the old-fashioned way. This is good to see. So you can see how the war has kind of evolved, you know. It's kind of devolved into... Where they destroy us, and then we destroy them. Because, look, we lost two ships, but then they're going to lose three ships. But, see, them losing three ships isn't what's really... Just disheartening my people is the fact that we're losing the two ships. Yeah, we, we got we got this guy's number. See, here comes another ship from off the screen. We're lining up. Oh yeah, we're lining up. Excellent. That was good work, boys. Good work. Okay, I think that I think we're splitting. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to trade points of view cuz I kind of like the way that they split there. Now we're on board the Oh, the Graf Spway again. One of my favorite ships. This is this is like one of the most famous ships of the war is the Graf Spoy. This Graf Spoy has, I think, destroyed more enemy vessels than any other thing. And it's an old fashioned battle cruiser. It looks like he received a bullet here in the back part of his engine. A cup oh it got a couple of bullets. That's alright. Nothing the grass boy happened happened to have happened to before. Oh, and there's the uh, the Fu Ching. Those guys are like the mad Chinese folk. So I get, I can't give it all to the to the Graf Spway because in reality the Fu Ching has been there the whole time as well, and 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 the two of them together can lay down some lead. As you can see, that they're take they're taking apart this here ship like it was. Uh, they just kind of dissected it. We're gonna move over to their ship for a second, just get a view of what they're what they're seeing. See that big hole in their ship? A huge old hole right there. Oh, they got no engine. And here comes the grass sway and the Fu Ching, just giving them the hammer. That's where all those holes are coming from. Yeah, that's tough, dude. You get them two boys lined up, and they got and they and they gun you down right in the. So okay, so we lost the two ships. All right, they did pretty good damage on us too, and it's those dang dang fireballs. And I even even cursed a little bit, which I normally don't like to do, but I guess I got excited. Then we destroyed four of their ships. So it's a two to one loss. We lost two, they lost four. Our bullets did pretty good, our missiles did pretty good, but you know, the thing is about this fleet here, this was a really light fleet. You know, I mean, oh, nice. So it looks like after deploying our biological weapon upon their colony in Ursa Major, they just have no more stomach to fight us anymore. 
and have to, and we both declared neutrality, which is God sent. Oh. But maybe we can work some of our new ships. Now we have a colony cruiser Mark III. That's the prototype we just put in. So let's try to get out another prototype. I'm thinking that we could put out okay our our picket here. We've built one, the Mark II, and it got destroyed a while back. So okay, we built one and it's been blown up. So we'll just erase that and we'll try to build a new picket cruiser. The new one that has the shields and all the good stuff in it. So hopefully Oh, that's not too expensive. Detroit, that's a good name. We'll begin work on the prototype right away. Thank you. How long is it going to take? Five turns? Oh! They, 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 they had tried to capture Lynn Farragut, but some sort of uh, ingenious uh, escape must have happened. It mu that probably would have made a great movie. Because I'm sure she would have been tortured. And the rebellion's been put down. The riots are being put down in realm. Hmm. Well, that's good, but the war's got to end at some point. I mean, well, we did end it, and the morale went up a lot because we ended our war with the uh, with the birds. So things are starting to look up for us now we're not at war with everybody in the entire universe we're only at war with uh... <laughs> we're only at war with the sleepless and I and that actually might actually boost our morale because you know we'll still be fighting you know we'll still be fighting but uh... kind of a war maybe we can win they're a little bit better than us they got better technology than we do right now I think but at least we're not fighting everybody and that that's tough but one of the things that we don't really need to worry about swords of providence you guys need to you get your fleet needs to be dissolved I mean we need your ships new earth child you kind of did your job I would say that you did your job Okay, let's dissolve the fleet. Yeah, we'll just dissolve the Swords of Providence here at Naota Kundu now that we have peace there. And we'll move to relocate all of those reserve ships from Naota Kundu to. And now, here's the thing. Should I put. New one in charge over there, or I'm thinking I probably just go back with, with uh. Look lively, folks. We've been reassigned. Yeah, that looks that looks good. Just grinding, and grinding, and grinding. What what what's this? Meteors? Oh come on, come on! How many meteors? Jesus, that's a lot. Okay, so what? Oh, we got no fleet there. This is Alpha Centauri. Oh, and that's our weird psychedelic planet. I don't understand this planet at all. But I do understand that there's meteors coming. So let's follow a rock in. See, here comes the meteors, and there's meteors coming from the other side. This is going to hurt the planet. Hopefully it don't destroy it. Hopefully we can... At least they don't shoot at us. That's kind of nice. You know, they're just... Trying to fly in and... Cause some damage to our... To our planet. Okay, we blew up that rock a little bit. Where's Bruce Willis when you need need him? You know? I mean, Bruce Willis would have totally took care of these asteroids. 
I think these asteroids are like the size of Texas or something because these these looking pretty big here comes some more missiles I don't think we're launching enough missiles we're not gonna blow up all the rocks there's a rock blown up not too bad okay that those rocks kinda blew up into a whole lot of smaller rocks that doesn't make the situation any better actually it kinda makes the situation a lot worse Those big rocks that I see over there in the distance, they're getting pretty close to the planet, so I'm pretty sure... Oh, well, one of them kind of got blasted. So, we're doing pretty good. Not really. Those rocks over there. Ah, oh, they got a ways to go yet before they hit the planet. Maybe we can take out a couple more. Hmm. Okay, that's not too bad. <coughs> Colonial defense. Oh, it looks like an, a rock impacted the planet. They're going to start impacting the planet. People are dying. Infrastructure's being destroyed. Let's get a close-up of the... Uh, of a rock impacting our planet. Well, that rock just kind of went into, into our planet. Hmm. Maybe some of the rocks will actually fly past our planet. That'll be cool. Hmm. Okay, I guess we took, we weathered that pretty good. Pandora is the name of that. Oh, come on. Another, another attack. These guys are relentless, man. So we gotta find L71 wherever that is. So let's go to our colonies. This one. Okay. Not too bad. So these guys. Who's coming in this time? Lore? Lore's coming in again. Hmm. It's those despairs. Those despairs are the ones that have those fireballs. But he's got two of those. So maybe that won't be so bad. Unfortunately, I only got three ships sitting here. That's that's pretty bad. Luckily, we got two planets there. We're still trying to... Do we have a new logistics cruiser? Or Where's our logistics cruiser? We have a logistics cruiser Mark II. But we don't have a logistics cruiser Mark III lined up. And it looks like we only built one of these things and it got blown up. So here's what we're gonna do then. We're gonna go to the designer screen. And we haven't I haven't spent too much time on camera on the designer screen. So this is kinda how this here works. You kinda take your ship and you we're gonna put in these new blue these blue beamers because this is this is what's really working it for us gonna put in some shields we're gonna get all of our our buffs up shields eat up a little bit of energy we got well I guess not too much but it seems like they do we don't really need nothing more but just you know protection from here for on these things with these blue beams and then we're going to put it on our missiles. Now we're going to make the missiles our main weapon. So we have the missiles here in the back. And we have the blue beams in the front. We have our shield. So this logistics cruiser Mark III should be a pretty good design, I think. And it's pretty cheap, I'm thinking, too. So let's let's name that. Logistics. Logistic cruiser. Yes, sir. These schematics make them in handy. All right, and we're gonna go back. Now we're in the build, so we'll just take get rid of the Mark II, which, you know, isn't really working for us. And we're gonna we're gonna build a Mark III, which is gonna cost us six hundred fifteen thousand dollars. Man, these things are just a lot. 
Didn't we already have this one? Or is it the Philgia? Didn't we already have a Philgia? Let's rename this one. I'm going to rename it... Uh, let's, let's, let's rename it San Francisco. I don't even know how to spell San Francisco. That doesn't seem right. Okay, let me get let me get to another uh, another one that I can spell. Los Angeles. Maybe that's not how you spell that either. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> I got one. San Diego. There we go. I know that's right. Okay, let's submit the order. Construction on the prototype is underway, Director. Okay, Pandora was struck by asteroid storm, and 154 million people died. Oh my God, that was quite the catastrophe. But here we got this catastrophe going on. So who is in charge here? Oh, Mrs. Nelson. Mrs. Nelson, this is like one of her first challenges, or maybe? No, she's been around for a while, so. Let's see if she can't meet that challenge and we can make things work. Let me get my province view on, because we, re we rebuilt Central, which is kind of nice. So... Who are we up against? Mr. Lore. Lore. Oh, his fleet is not a full fleet. So that means that uh, we're kind of wearing them out too, I think. I think we're really kind of, you know, we're doing, our, we're doing our part. Now, one of our ships here is pretty old. The missile cru cruiser is pretty old. What we, what we need to do is we need to do what we always do. is We just kind of have to try to delay... Just stay ahead of them. Kind of delay. Kind of delay. Now what we do is we just we just tr we just turn around. Hi, sir. Oh, the Izumas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All we gotta do is that's that's ship number five. So we just kind of try to delay. Then he's gonna be launching missiles at us. We'll be launching missiles at them. Hopefully they don't shoot no fireballs. We're, we're within missile range, so... Oh, they're sending fighters. But, uh, looks like my beamers are gonna be taking care of that quick. He's trying to, he's trying to take out my, uh... My missile cruiser here. You can see that my beamers have got... My beamers have got his number. So we, oh yeah, we tagged that guy. Now, I don't see them shooting missiles at us. Let's take a look over at their side here. What do they got going on? Do they got missiles? I don't see no mi They got point defense. Lots of point defense. I don't see no missiles. This might be good for us. Because we keep launching missiles. Whoops. Sorry about that. Little Ready, little mis misuse. Maybe what we ought to try to do now is uh, let's slow it down a little bit. Slow down our speed. And let them catch up, and then see what kind of what kind of business they got going on with this fleet because I'm pretty sure that two of them are those fireballs but that might not be these four ships that we got facing us right now we're back on board oh those little fireballs yeah we better get back to normal speed we can't let those fireballs come at us because now our beamers do have a chance of shooting those down 
Not a good one. Gonna take some hits. Okay. The Nile took some hits. That's alright. You're gonna take a couple more hits, it looks like. Unless I speed the Nile up. Maybe I'll do that. Now, Nile ain't speeding up. It wants to stay in the formation, apparently. Come on, Nile. Don't, don't fail me now. Okay, looks like we stopped one of them. One of those fireballs. So, oh, come on. Friendly fire, really? Get your missiles together, man. And see him, he's, he's breaking off into two groups. He's got two guys to the left and two guys to the right. Maybe he's trying to circle around, but we got our planet missiles are in support of us right now. So all we got to do is keep traveling for another minute and we're okay. So, excuse me, I think that we'll do pretty good. Okay, we're starting to we're starting to range them a little bit now. So we're we're out of their we're out of their fireball range. We got 30 seconds. I'm going to I'm going to slow it up again. They've closed up that hull breach, sir. Thank you. Thank you for closing up the hull breach. I'm going to slow it up again see if we can't maximize the firepower because I believe we're out of missile range now. So we can just kind of calm down our speed a little bit. Here we go. Missiles are being launched. I like the the, the missile loading sequence if if they gave us a chance. There's missiles. You can actually see the missiles they 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 load. System update. Alrighty. So our beamer got damaged at Van Manen. Okay, and we got a fusion mine. That's that's the that's it. That's all we got out of that. But I think we're doing okay for turn 311. We're not bad. We we have to we have to wait. Oh. Oh, we got Toothal of the Jade Wing going to try to take advantage of the peace situation going on here and she's going to try to scout our scout our system oh that's that's dirty that's dirty dirty plan man you're gonna take this opportunity to spy on me is that how it is that how how you roll I, I see apparently that's how they roll man okay so we're gonna be able to chop down this debt pretty quick and I think that our research has gone up quite a bit 190,000 our morale has gone up quite a bit so that's good I'm really liking that our economy's going up our population's going up our fleets have downsized but our ships are going up so making peace with the with the birds even though they get to scout out our system and all of that is really kind of made for a good it was a good thing I mean we really needed to do it and we got it done now if we can we're getting we're getting it together this is a hot this is a contested area this this little area right here between us and the sleepless and we still have to try to get l871 or whatever do we have we do have our ships there okay so let's select our our, our general. Do we, there, where's Lynn Varigat? There she is. We're gonna call her the. Well, she was almost a slave, right? She was almost a prisoner, right? We'll call her Prison Break. Prison Break Brigade. Let's get those ships. Let's get those ships in there. 
I don't know what this empty means. Maybe that means they, those are obsolete ships. We even got a biological warfare ship. Oh, that's that's tough, man. Because we could probably go use that. That biological war weapon. And we have that, that direct... Um, all right. Well, we got a fleet here. Now, we could do something. We could try to hit them and see if we can't deploy our biological weapon against them here at DM 1441774 that would be a that's going to be a major a major hit so here's what I'm thinking we'll just do a strike we're just going to do a strike it's going to take us four turns to get there and four turns to get back so that's eight turns Almost ought to go for a full invasion if that's the case. Yeah, if, if, if it's going to take us so long to get there, we might as well just get there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Fleet command to all assets. This is D Day. Move it out. Lynn Farragut's got a. She's got, she's got something to say to those sleepless for, you know them trying to make her pay for crimes against whales you know she, she's gonna go in and she's gonna she's gonna go whaling that's what's gonna happen she's gonna go whaling what's this reaction movements pending oh it sees looks like Kenichi Nimitz of Alpha Centauri isn't all too pleased about um soul system being surveyed by the by the by the Morogi. Well, I'll, I'll let him come around and police a lot, a lot of prejudice going on. He, he's a he, he's not trusting them at all and I don't blame him. I don't even get this reactive fleet. What, what's going on here? Survey fleet. What, what's the problem? Okay, so there's this, oh, it's those bird guys again. They're just, okay. Yeah, he wants to react to the bird dudes, but, you know, what's going on? Do we have battle? Or is this illegal, what they're trying to do here? I, I hope this doesn't spark another war. I'm thinking that coordinates locked. Maneuver drive to four. This might cause war, man. Full power to engine. <laughs> oh my oh god. We just got done. We just got we just we we just got done being peaceful with these guys. And now we're gonna have another another I guess it don't get no better than that. Hi, full power to engine. Our fleet ain't even gonna get there in time, anyways. Oh, here they are. Target locked. We'll just kind of try to. We'll just pursue them. But I don't think that our fleet's gonna get there in time, so we'll just watch the combat from here. See what they experience. I suppose then they shouldn't have. Uh, Tried to survey where they're not welcome. I mean, looks like our missiles are making short work of them. You know, Earth is always the best. I don't think they can take too many of those. Nah, they're already almost toast. I don't know what they were thinking. We're just neutral. Doesn't mean that we're friends. That's what you gotta understand, guys. Prejudice is going going throughout the empire. Just because we're neutral doesn't mean you get to walk right into our house and make yourself comfortable. Come on. You know we're not gonna show you our our, our, our daughter and say, hey, you know.
We'll just leave you guys alone. Nah, it ain't gonna happen that way. I'll tell you what's gonna happen. You're gonna come knocking at our door, and we're gonna go up to the door with the shotgun and say, get the hell off my property. You don't wanna leave, which gave you ample time to leave. And now you're shooting at us here at Earth. This ain't gonna happen. Yeah, see? That's what you get. I bet you we're right back at war. We'll have to see if this incident goes, you know. If this sparks another war, maybe. I, I don't know. You just really don't know. Okay. We got to get back in our boys in blue. All right. What do we got? Where are they at? Hi, sir. Bringing guns to bear. Okay, we're still in pursuit mode. Yeah, they ain't gonna make it in time. See if I can't make a pentagram. This pentagram is really just a square. Sometimes I can. I, I just have to find it. Ah, uh, you know. There we go. We got a diamond. Okay, these ones got point defense. But, we also got lots of missiles. So, these missiles are going to come in no matter what. Oh, they got missiles, too. And they're launching. Well, that's tough. Yeah, these are... Oh, I see why. Because these are like supply ships. Still, it's not right. You're getting close to my... to my. Uh... Oh, did we knock one of them out? No, not quite. What's the name of this ship? It says... This is number one. This is the Carta Balam. Oh, another, another, another round of missiles for planet Earth. It's not gonna, this is, you know guys, this does not, this situation does not make, maybe the war's not really over. I hope it, I hope it is, but this could just be kind of like an afterthought, kind of like, you know, there's still fights going on, you know, long after Germany surrendered. Just because there was like, you know, all sorts of from the war. I guess we knocked out a couple of their ships. Alright. So here's where I'm going to end the episode. Let's see if they're back at war with us, because I kind of hope they're not. Yes! We're back to war. Back to war. <laughs> oh, well, let, let, before I end the episode, let's see if I can't see if we can't just get back to being neutral. Come on now. We're trying. We're trying our best here to be pe Come on now, we're really trying. We'll have to see if they accept peace or not, I don't know. But we're going to end the episode there, you know. Our, our, our nation has recovered, but if we're back to war again with the bird people, then we really only gave ourselves, you know, a decade of, of uh, respite, and that's it. But we're about ready to hit the boys pretty hard over here at DM14774 and I know they got a good colony there so we also know that they got another one here at Groombridge but see going back to war with the birds but they didn't need to come here to Seoul it, what were they thinking what were they thinking 
I don't get it. They weren't thinking. They were just thinking, oh yeah, well, we gave them an inch. They gave us an inch. Now now that our foot's in the door, we're just going to kick the door right in and we're going to try to sell them a vacuum. Well, that just isn't going to happen, buddy. There's a lot of prejudice in the sovereignty of man. A lot of prejudice. I'm going to figure out why we can't we can't colonize this place here either too. So in our next episode, we got a lot to do. But if you like what I'm doing, please like, please subscribe. I got six subscribers as of that I know of right now. And of course, there's the Steam forum if you wish to use that. I mean, I, I check it every day to see if there's any sort of discussion. I know this game is pretty dead, but if you should happen to be watching it, like it. I think it's pretty interesting so far. We survived the turnip and the grind, the turnip winter and the grind. So hopefully, if we can keep hostilities between the Morogi and us, that's the bird people and I and humanity to a minimum, we might not be back into an all-out two-front war. So until next time, I will say bye-bye.